Hi, Kirk here, BMW Motorrad Club of Northern Illinois, bringing you another do-it-yourself video. This time, it's going to be on this uh, sending tube. This is inside of your gas tank. Uh, for, this is a problem solver here. If you guys have the issue where your gas gauge doesn't read correctly, meaning that if you fill it up and it only shows that it's half full, or if you, it only will get down to half full, the reason is this right here which I've talked about in other videos. This is that charcoal canister that you need to get out of your bike and throw right in the garbage. So I took this one out of the bike. Uh, it's it's pretty much a brick inside. There's no uh, nothing going on there. It doesn't everything's hard up in there. So throwing it away. Here's the issue. Okay, so in the inside the gas tank when this thing's down in there, you roll this thing around. You see it's got a nice big fat dent in it. And what happens here is that that tube that's or the uh, float that's inside here, inside of the gas sending unit that goes to your gas gauge, gets stuck right there at this. So we have to unbend the tube. How, how we do that is right down here at the end. There's a little screw or a little uh, nut down there, very tiny. You have to take that nut off. It's got a couple uh, little bend bend up uh, tabs here. So I'm going to bend these back away so I can get that nut off of there. It's just, uh, it's real thin like brass or bronze or something. It, 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 they're really very easy to bend. As you can see, it just I just did it with that little screwdriver, just no, no sweat at all. So now I just have to back this, this nut off of here. And I probably have to get a tool for that to get that off of there or uh, or use a, uh, a needle nose pliers or something like that. There we go. Once you get that little nut off of there, it's going to want to fall and fly away, so be careful. There we go. Now this part will just pop off of there and you'll be able to slide the tube now there's there's some down inside there if you I don't know if you probably won't be able to really pick it up on the camera but there's some really delicate wires that are down inside there you have to make sure that you don't damage those wires when you try to pull this thing off of here so just be careful when you're sliding this thing out and what you're gonna do is really just slide the tube off of the holder which matches up on these slots down here okay just go slow and careful and then set that thing aside okay there's those wires right there real thin uh, stainless steel wires that hold this whole unit together and it gives the float something to, to slide on so not going to mess with that too much just going to set that aside this is the issue here now with this off we can fix this part by taking an object as big as this is around and just driving it through here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be, you know, there can be still be a few little dents in it. Like here, there's a little dent here. That little dent will hit mean nothing to the to the outcome of this. So I'm going to find a socket here, and I'll show you just uh, how to straighten this thing out, get it back together.
see it's already mostly out just with that one that one that was just slightly bigger or slightly smaller sorry and we'll straighten it out the rest of the way do it pretty darn straightened out now so I'll do it a couple more times That's it. You can see now the tube uh, almost has, uh, it's almost imperceptible, the dent that's in there. So we'll put this thing back together now. So don't be afraid to get in there and fix this thing yourself. You don't need to buy a new one, despite what your uh, dealer might tell you. There we go. The only real pain in the butt part is going to be trying to put the uh, the nut back on there. There it goes. Alright. So once you get that thing uh, kind of tightened back up, just go ahead and bend those tabs back up, put it back on your bike, and you're good to go. And your gas gauge will be fixed. And you will have done it yourself. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of this. I know you did, so uh, right on. Check out our other videos too, there's a lot of them out there. Thanks for watching, bye.